Now to the war in Ukraine, and Russia has launched what Ukraine is calling a massive attack on its energy infrastructure. Authorities say emergency power outages are in place nationwide, leaving hundreds of thousands of people without power. There are also reports of large explosions in the capital, Kyiv, and other cities. This comes after authorities issued a countrywide air raid alert due to incoming missiles. Well, let's get the very latest now. Uh, we cross to our correspondent, Namisha Jaiswal. She's in Kyiv. Uh, Namisha, what more can you tell us about these attacks on Ukraine's energy infrastructure? Well, Terry, it seems like another massive attack was very focused on energy infrastructure here across Ukraine. We know that, according to the Ukrainian armed forces, at least 70 U-95MS strategic bombers took off from Russia, and there were a variety of missiles used here, the KH-101, as well as the caliber cruise missiles, the Iskander M ballistic missiles, all to target energy infrastructure mainly. Now, already according to local authorities, we know that just in the three regions of Rivne Volin and Lviv, over a million people ha are without power. And this is just three regions. We know that there are power cuts across the country, some caused by direct hits, some caused as a precautionary measure. And uh, grid operator Ukrainegro is warning that the whole country will see more blackouts. We know that, for example, in the city of Kherson, uh, the local transport lines were knocked off. So it's not just heat. And uh, we know that there was also water supplies impacted and uh, train services across the country disrupted. How are, how are authorities in Ukraine dealing with all of this? How are they responding, Namisha? Well, unfortunately, Terry, this, there's already been 10 attacks by Russia precisely aimed on energy infrastructure this year alone. And this is seen as a massive campaign to put pressure on Ukraine as it enters, as it already is, in the third winter of this war. And uh, energy authorities are quite prepared to the best of their capacities, of course. As soon as any kind of uh, bombers take off, there are emergency or precautionary blackouts. As soon as any strikes are reported, local, uh, local officials jump in to connect these power lines to alternative uh, outlets. For example, in Lutsk, water lines and energy lines were connected to alternative power sources. So there is preparation on the official level. There's also preparation on the domestic level, people installing generators and keeping power banks to the best of their capacities. But uh, of course, Kyiv here, the authorities, Zelensky, has been reminding Western partners that more and more air defenses are also needed to be able to ramp up the capacity of Ukraine to defend itself against these strikes and not just react to when the hits already happen. Namisha, thank you very much. That was DW's Namisha Jaiswal in Kyiv.